Hey guys, this is Alex. I'm here with Kevin, and we're gonna look over how to open up the guard in Nogi. Okay, so Kevin is gonna be right over here in his, in his closed guard. All right, so as soon as Kevin is in his closed guard, uh, I wanna make sure that I'm doing a couple of things. The first is I wanna have a nice base. Um, Kevin is a lot of times gonna try to off balance. You know, my knees are too close together, it's gonna to be really hard for me to keep a strong base. So I'm gonna have my knees nice and wide. Initially, I can be on my uh, shoelaces. Later, I'm gonna pop up onto my toes. The reason I'm going to be on my shoelaces initially is going to be so that it's harder for Kevin to get uh, grips underneath my leg, and so it's harder for him to bring his knees into, into his chest and all balance me. So I'm going to be sitting uh, nice and heavy just like so. From here, I'm going to have three options. Option number one is two thumbs up, it's going to go into his armpits. Option number two is thumb up into the armpit, hands going to be on his neck. I'm not going to be squeezing, I'm just going to be using this as a placeholder. Option number three is I'm going to get a two on one grip on his wrist. The reason that I want to have thumb up grips as opposed to thumb down grips is because here my elbows are going to be flared and Kevin can pummel his hands inside and break my grips. Whereas when I have my thumbs up, now it's going to be harder for Kevin. When I'm standing up, I don't want to be looking at Kevin. I want to be looking straight ahead or slightly up. As soon as I'm ready to go, I'm going to pop up onto my toes and now my head is going to pass this imaginary center line that Kevin has on his chest and that's going to make my legs light. As my legs come light, I'm going to pop up at a slight angle. I'm going to have my feet in a staggered stance. I don't want to have me in a square stance. So as my head passes that center line, I'm going to leap up. I'm going to come up at a slight angle, just like so. From here, I'm going to pinch my knees together. I'm going to posture up. Two so hands are going to push on one knee. Kevin's guard is going to open up. As soon as it opens up, I'm going to back up to control the shins to be able to start to utilize my passive. Okay, one more time. Kevin's going to be here. So the first grip that I'm going to be using is a thumb up grip on his pockets. Let's do this. From here, my head is going to pass that line. As my head passes that line, I'm going to leap up. So as my head passes, my legs become light. As my legs become light, I'm able to leap up without making a sound. From here, I'm going to posture up, bend my knees, push on the knee, and I'm going to step both of my legs back to work my knees. Okay, one more time. I'm going to be in a close guard. If I'm going to use the second option, I'm going to put my hand into, into the neck, and I'm going to go towards where my hand is. So I'm going to go towards my right. So I'm going to leap up, Kevin sometimes is going to grab my ankle, I'm going to be mindful of that, I'm still going to pinch, I'm going to posture, two hands on one knee, and now he's using a screw grip on my ankle, I'm going to take my foot out, and now I'm able to start to pass. Lastly, I'm going to be using the grip of the two on one on his wrist, I'm going to stand up with that same side leg as the hand that I have. So I'm going to now press into Kevin so that my weight is on his chest, I'm going to stand up with the same side leg so that way he can not grab it. Now I'm going to go onto my toe and I'm going to stand up all the way onto the opposite side. I can posture, keeping the grip as long as I can, and now I can push and same with that thing, I'm going to be able to come. Okay, full speed. Thank you.